Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And today we're taking a look back at some of the most famous classical paintings made by the masters that lived throughout time and we're turning them into anime. Yeah. <laughs> As God intended. As God intended, improving them, yes. bringing them into the modern era. This has been suggested to us by many, many people, but when I took the screenshot of the suggestion from several, uh, like probably a month ago, or at least several weeks, <laughs> uh, it was by Rain Swamp Tear. So Thank congratulations you. to you, you get the shout out. Yeah, you get the shout out. We did these already, this is a speed draw episode, so we really got to, to go whole hog on them. I'm very excited to see what we did. Nathan is up first. What you do, Nathan? What did you do? Uh, I actually didn't do a classical painting, but I did do a very famous painting. <laughs> That's what I meant. I don't really know what those words mean. For any art history buffs out there, I didn't. I wanted to get in there before they were like, "The Son of Man" is a surrealist painting from uh, from the twentieth century. It's not a classical. I just meant classic. I didn't mean classical. I'm so sorry. Famous <laughs> artworks. Uh, so yeah, I I did the the Son of Man, the painting of the the man with the hat and the apple as Luffy with the devil fruit. Ah, such a good concept. <laughs> it's a pretty, you know, I think it's a pretty good concept. I was surprised it hasn't been done. Feels very something you'd see hanging up in a dorm room. But, uh, <laughs> it will be now. Yeah, now it is. Should I count you in? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. So I chose this one because I it's a relatively simple sort of composition, and it was a pretty one-to-one like concept because I really just wanted to focus on the painting aspect because that alone uh, was kind of intimidating to me. I don't do a ton of digital painting. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with with how it turned out. You know, it uh, made me feel a little bit more confident to try this sort of thing in the future. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see it come together. Yeah, so just just sort of roughing in a Luffy with uh, trying to sort of split the difference between Luffy's proportions and the proportions of the guy. Sorry, Nathan, yeah. you're, uh, you're roofing in a Luffy? I'm roofing in a Luffy. <laughs> it's pronounced roofing. I thought it was pronounced roughy. <laughs> uh, you'll notice I made the the sash and pants a little high, so I'm going to lower them in a sec. I was going to comment on how dare you go that high with your sash and pants. <laughs> yeah, it just gonna tear you apart. I was going to vomit. The nice. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for not uh, tearing me apart for that. Or vomiting. For, or vomiting. I barely <laughs> held it together for your sake. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, so this already, I, I was pretty happy with how it was looking, this sort of minimalist uh, approach. But then I, I used, I mostly used the um, Kyle Oil Lush brush. Yeah, my favorite cheap brush. Lush brush. I just I just love that brush. It's so useful for yeah. any time you want to add a little bit of painterly texture to a piece. It's not an overpowering amount of texture. First, I try a different oil brush, but I end up uh, not liking this. And then I start over. Uh, not with the flatting in of the colors, but just the this this aspect. This portion. The rendering process. Yeah. But look at it just it just comes in so nice. It's so soft and easy to You get so much yeah. control. Yeah. Over that bland. It's got like the right amount of texture. Yeah. Sweet spot. It's it's a real real nice brush choice. And uh what I was gonna say about uh, the proportions. The nice thing about drawing Luffy is he stretches, so anything that's <laughs> off, it's just it's just he was stretching. Yeah. So it's fine. Yeah, you can't argue. No with one that. needs to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. This is I so know fun. Bad proportions. Uh, 
make you vomit, Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly. I've never done bad proportions once on this show. But yeah, it's like, I don't, th- this one, again, this is sort of outside my normal uh, process. So it was a lot of just sort of figuring, fit- fiddling yeah. and faddling. And I had a lot of fun with it. I I like challenges like these where I just get to mess around. I spent a lot of time on the abs. Sure. <laughs> As, As you, you do. <laughs> just really rendering some some boy abs on the strong boy. <laughs> strong boy man. Yeah, and then I was getting a little guideline going. Yeah, I was, I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. It looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, Thank it's you. nice and relaxing to watch the process, too. I fully just, like, I had an idea that I was going to try and keep my color layers separate, and I immediately uh, accidentally drew some stuff on the wrong layers, and so <laughs> I was just like, okay, we're just going to- Yep. We're just going to paint it like it's a painting. <laughs> I think there's something freeing about that. Yeah. yeah. I still sort of tried to select color blocks at first, but eventually I I just give that up. Keep it as clean as you can for as long as you can, and then by the end it's just like, whatever. It's art, baby. If that's art. Slap on the paint. So cool. The values are so good. Wow. You get a real nice dark to light ratio. Yeah, I mean, again, the 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 reference painting was really nice. Uh, it just like has a very simple sort of lighting scheme. Gets darker towards the bottom right and lighter towards the top left. And so, I just followed that. I borrowed a lot of colors from that painting, and then uh, uh, Magritte has a has sort of a series of similar paintings. One where there's a a lady with some flowers in front of her face, and I used the color of the flowers for the devil fruit. And uh, yeah, add a little little straw texturing to the hat. Ah. Sure. But yeah, this is all uh, Kyle Oil Lush, which is a, just a great brush. Highly recommend. If you if you've never digital painted before and want to just mess around with it, uh, I, I yeah I used I, I used just a regular sort of uh, inker brush to flat in the colors, but all of this rendering is is with the the, the oil lush until I get to the clouds where I <laughs> I used uh, I think it's called like oil landscaper. That's a good one because this is a it's based on. The, the the painting inspiration is an oil painting. I looked it up before I did this. I was like, I gotta make sure it's an oil painting before I start using oil brushes. Oh, cool. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Nathan, this looks so great. Yeah. yeah. It's like really coming together. I'm gonna hang this up in my Thank dorm you. room. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> Anyone who wants to, to hang this up in their dorm room is welcome to. I do not want to go back to college, Jacob. We're going back to college, guys. We're going back to college together. We're all going to be roommates. Yeah. Yay. Drafi goes to college. (laughs) It's our new arc, and this is going to be in our dorm. Yeah, absolutely. So there it is. Wow. This is fantastic. It came out so good. It looks so cool. Thank you. Yeah, I love all the texture on like the bricks and stuff too. I feel like you did a really good job with that. Thank you, thank you. This is a lot of fun. This is anime and classic art. It's the best art. Yeah. Ever created. Every <laughs> make, piece we make done all art today. anime. Yeah. Yeah. Cause now I feel like I get it. Yeah. You know? yeah. I see this and I'm like, I get it. That's Luffy and a devil fruit. <laughs> <laughs> a man why is he wearing a suit? What's the apple mean? This it's like, oh, I know that character. He eats the fruit. It gives him powers. I get it. I get it. I get art finally. <laughs> uh, great job, Nathan. I'm up next, and I did the Vermeer painting, Girl with the Pearl Earring, that Hell Nathan yeah. is notoriously terrified of. Yep. But maybe he'll be less terrified of it because I did it as Lupin the Third. <gasps> oh. I it's pronounced the... Luffy. <laughs> Don't look at me. 
May I continue? <laughs> I'm going to continue now. Well, go on then. I looked at the pose. Such a dad on a, on a road trip look to Julia. <laughs> Let's all turn this car around. I looked at the pose uh -huh. of the woman in the painting, and she's kind of like, like looking back over her shoulder at you. And it made me think of like in Lupin the Third when he spins around to reveal it was Lupin in disguise the whole time. Oh, <laughs> well, that's much less scary. So I, I, I did it as Lupin in disguise and uh, it was a lot of fun and I'm gonna play it right now. Three, two, one, go. So there's there she is. Uh, and Lupin will be coming in too. <laughs> there he is. I took oh. the 3D version Caldwell. because um, he's the 3D version is also <laughs> shaded in a similar fashion already. Oh, that's true. It's kind of a similar lighting scenario. Um, and yeah, I got I got straight in with the sketch here, and I was excited to do this because I've been watching a lot of like digital painting YouTube videos lately, uh, just coincidentally. <laughs> And I'd been meaning to like find a reason to get in and try some of the stuff that I had I had learned from watching those. So this was a really good chance to to do that. And the process ended up being super fun too. I really enjoyed it a lot more than I than I thought I would. Painting's fun. It is fun. It feels like somehow less pressure than drawing normally. <laughs> Especially a you, digital painting. Yeah, yeah, that's digital painting only yeah. for sure. Uh, so I did kind of a gray background that I'll make black later. I just wanted to have a more neutral tone. And uh, similar to Nathan, I'm now just blocking in. I just, I color pick straight from the uh, original painting for the base tones. Because I, I am colorblind. So it's easier for me to to work from a, a starting point like that. And um, one of the things I learned from all the videos I was watching is that you want to start zoomed out and just like, kind of squint your eyes and focus on like big areas of light and shadow. That makes sense. So I was doing that first, uh, just chunking in where like the big shading areas were. This is a great painting to practice that with also. Just yeah. Like some real nice light and shadow play in this one. For sure. And it's part of why I chose it is because it had such obvious lighting that I felt like it'd be easy to replicate in that sense. Um. So yeah, right at this point, I'm just chunking things in. I'm using the uh, the Dave Greco DG Main brush. That's another really good one. Which is primarily what I use for the whole thing, other than like some speckle brushes that are also in Dave Greco's set that I use later to add some like noise to it. This already looks so good. Yeah, I was I was feeling like you know it's one of those things where you start out and you get kind of a little bit into it, and you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> and then like it's like gotta trust the process and uh keep going and sometimes uh, you just have the blind faith go and then it works itself out yeah totally and i was doing most of this basically just on on one layer i wasn't even really highlighting areas after a bit uh i just wanted to kind of go full natural on it yeah it's really it feels very painterly yeah, and I, I ended up being very happy with the way certain things get get rendered as it goes along, um, and then how certain things didn't get rendered. I was pleased that you know, with it's. I feel like sometimes it's hard to know when to stop. Sure, that's yeah. Um, and I didn't want to overdo it. I wanted it to be still kind of chunky and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, if my parents had had this hanging up. <laughs> I probably would have still been scared. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. Maybe it's a big chin. It does have a bit of a threatening energy to it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I just, I, I love the idea of this being in a, a Lupin cartoon where like he's stolen this painting and like they they only just noticed that the one he replaced it with was this. <laughs> yeah, hey. totally. Or he's camouflaged himself by putting on the outfit and standing in front of the original. Oh, yeah. In yeah. the pose. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and then they I was run really by happy him. with how I rendered the, uh, the lower eyelids. Yeah. I felt like I got the shape and like yeah. highlights of that 
really well. I it's, love a good lower eyelid. I do too now. Because I was like, ooh. There's something this feels about nice. it. Yeah. It's, yeah a good, about it's a good little little depth. A little yeah. bit of depth. It hits different. It's different. <laughs> And I do a lot of like reworking of like the general face shape and stuff like that. I, I work on the lips like for like a million hours. Lips and, are hard. Um, they never get quite where I want them to be. I'm still not like totally confident on that, but I feel like they get better than they are now by the end. You, I mean, that's probably the, because that part you really merged the lupine facial expression with the... <laughs> Like the way the the lips are rendered in the other in the original painting <laughs> mm-hmm. in a way yeah. that like yeah I mean I think it works yeah yeah I kind of like smudge them a bit more later which I think helps to make them not so like they're popping out so much um, yeah so you can see some of the speckle I got in up there and then I smear some of that in to kind of get the um, the pulling fabric look of the head wrap yeah. And then I add in more of that fabric speckle. It's like a it's like a DG dust brush and a DG speckle brush I used. Sure. Um, and I think it helped a lot. Uh, getting a little bit of the chin scruff mm-hmm. in there. Guy got his little five o'clock shadow. That's what you think. And then down to rendering out the clothes a little bit more, getting those shadows and colors. A bit more in there, smudging some stuff around. So cool. I love the way you've uh, gone after replicating the texture. I feel like that's something that's really hard to do digitally. Yeah. It's working. Yeah, for sure. It's it's not like, you know, one-to-one, but I feel like it gets some of the same vibe. Yeah. Uh, This is going to be one of those, those things that it's a weird comment. But it, it's like it's such like an art comment. I really like that uh, the sh- the shadow by the shoulder, how it like gets softer at the top in that loop. I like I really like how you did that. Oh yeah, I'll have to look at it again when I when, when you I see zoom it. out. <laughs> yeah, when I zoom back out, I had to spend some lip time. There it is. Yeah, I really like that that blend that you have that then goes into like, oh, the heart. Yeah. The oh hard yeah, part. I see what you mean. It's it's a really cool look. Yeah, I was trying to do that thing that again in the tutorials they always say you want to have hard edges and and soft edges. Yeah, like the combination of both. Um, so I was trying to just like real life. So I was trying to do that where like where folds would be, it's like really hard, and then then it softens up in places. You have light versus dark, hard versus soft. It's good. And yeah, that's that's it. This is the final one. I was I was super happy with it. Good work. So cool. Yeah, great job. Thank you. I, I thought it was really fun and I had like a blast doing it. And again, like I got really in the zone on this one and it was done in like an hour and a half, which I was surprised about. Wow. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, really. I felt like I was like I was working on it all day and then I like stopped the recording and it was like an hour 32 and I was like, oh, I guess I was just like really focused for that time. Well, good job. But yeah, I was really proud of it. I want to paint more now uh, in the future. Yeah, it looks so cool. Thank you. Karina, you're up next. It's me. I'm up next. And, um, okay. Well, uh, so the piece that I did was The Creation of Adam by um, Michelangelo, my good buddy Mickey. Um, (laughs) Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. My favorite Ninja Turtle. And I'm feeling like a dumbass because I didn't paint mine. And I'll talk about that. And you'll see why I didn't bother. But um, I did it as Gurren Lagann. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so excited to see Good it. Good combo. All right. I'll count you in. Three, two, one, go. Um, so I started off by redlining the actual painting just to get the composition all down. And that's why I chose this painting. I don't have a lot of strong feelings about this painting, but I do love the composition of the whole thing. So I chose it to focus more on the composition rather than like the fact that it's a painting. Yeah, so sure. That, that's why I did that's, that. So. Yeah, you chose, <laughs> you went the opposite yeah. direction. So you, yeah. I, I did a, I've done exercises like this before in school where it's just like recreate like a classic painting and just your own style or something. And a lot of that is breaking it down compositionally and like just 
keeping the same sort of blocking while changing everything else. So that's what I wanted to do. So I didn't paint it. Also, it was a lot. There's a lot of people in this painting, and I tried really hard to fill it all out. <laughs> so I didn't want to do it because that would be difficult. And my arms were tired from playing Ring Fit, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Also, I hate painting in Photoshop. Sorry, but um, if I were doing it in, like, Procreate, it'd be a much, much more of a maybe, but... Uh, so I I just drew it. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, this looks incredible <laughs> I already. Don't yeah. need to. Yeah. This yeah. is no apologies now, necessary. Now I'm gonna barf. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's the fun of you know pulling from the composition of like a really good painting is that it's all already there. <laughs> it's yeah. Already good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just had to turn it into current lock on. <laughs> <laughs> Do the fun part of making but, it yeah. animate. So I, I didn't put some of the angels up there at the top of like that shape, but I did try and mimic the shape through um, the shape of the cape and the hair. And I did Deep shape. Yeah, I did change the position of like the legs and stuff because it, it's not one to one is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, no, I, I started freestyling it after a while because I was like, no. I don't like the way God's feet look in this picture. I don't like the way that he has his legs. I'm going to change it. <laughs> change God's feet. Yeah. Michelangelo had his blind spots. Fix them. <laughs> Whatever. No, they they technically they all look great. I just I just I thought it would look weird for the composition I was going for. I was I stole all the good parts of the composition and then changed what benefited me. It's like when I look back at like even this the the one I did for this challenge, I'll notice mistakes I made. I can't imagine how Michelangelo must have felt <laughs> yeah. having like can't be easy. This, this up on the ceiling for everyone to look at all the time, like, oh God, why did I make God's foot like that? <laughs> Do you think that sometimes he looked at it and he was like, listen, a paycheck's a paycheck, job's done, sometimes you just gotta call it a day. He must have. Like, I spent forever on this thing, you can't nitpick, all right? Same, buddy. I spent like eight hours on this, which I wow. guess Damn. I guess in terms of things isn't that long, but I, I was really enjoying it. Good. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Like I said, I really love the composition of this painting for some reason. This isn't even the first time I've done a redraw of this painting. <laughs> I think I did one back in high school, but I just, it's such a good pose and such a good layout and the motion is good. Yeah. So I was like, fine, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my God. Caldwell and I did this layout. We did a Adam Driver and Adam Driver. <laughs> Yep. Birth of Adam that Julia did a amazing job rendering. Uh, I remember that. A while ago. So, you know, it's a classic. It's truly a classic. You know, it, yeah. It, it work it work for a reason. So now I'm going to make it work for me in my anime. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. This is so good. This is me... also another dorm poster. Yeah. yeah. Every everything in this episode is a dorm poster. Yeah. yeah. This is a dorm poster episode. <laughs> Originally, because there's in that in the original painting, there's like a little hand there. I don't know who that's supposed to be. This isn't an art history course. I didn't I didn't read that much into it. It was originally gonna be Viral's hand, but then I got lazy and I you know what? He he can wait his turn. I don't think you can say you got lazy when you drew this many characters <laughs> yeah. in a piece. I had a lot of fun doing it. I thought it was going to be a pain, but I was like really excited about it. But I just really like Gurren Lagann, so this is my little tribute. <laughs> it's making me want to rewatch it. Yeah, what a hell of a tribute. <laughs> it's what they deserve. All of our best friends. <laughs> All of our best friends. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the part where I flat everything in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I didn't paint it and I wasn't going to at this point because um, it was today at this point. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta, I gotta just do it. But I want it to look good because I was really happy with how it had come out until this point. So um, I'm just mesmerized. <laughs> yeah. It's just like soothing at ah, this point. This owns. <laughs> 
Thank yeah. you. But yeah, and yeah. so I decided to do like the sunset because there's the shot like in the first episode and like in later episodes where they're like so high that you can see like both the sun setting and rising. So yeah. I just decided to go with that. That's what this is. I love that shot so much. And then I just had the clouds kind of mirroring this like big movement force. And then I tried to do a landscape, and then I got tired, so I erased it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I still have to shade everything. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot to be done. I just did my usual, like, kind of cell shading. You uh, did so much stuff. Uh, Marina, you did so much stuff. And uh, I-, I did it a little softer. I'm using, like, a pencil to shade this rather than just like a hard edge but it, it's just the same it's just the same thing i always do but you know what I, I have to draw the line somewhere and that's where i chose today you drew the line at <laughs> drawing lines yeah yeah <laughs> i drew so many lines i wasn't gonna paint over them <laughs> no but yeah so good checked all my values which i love yeah to do. fix the shadows a bit oh it's so this good. is phenomenal Thank you. Hot damn. I really had fun with it. I had it a great slaps. time doing it. <laughs> yeah. It freaking slaps, dude. It would have been cool if I could have painted it, but nah. Nah. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, it works as is. Yeah, it looks so good like this. I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Julia, you are up next. It me. You want to talk about what you did? Yeah. Uh, so there's a, a lesser known famous classic painting <laughs> that I reference or that I did a, a thing of uh, called Orpheus and it's by Gustav Moreau. And I remember it very specifically because it's one of the first paintings you see in my favorite museum of all time, the Musée d'Orsay, which is in Paris. And it's just, it's very big and it's very weird. And I did Princess Mononoke. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Should I get you in it? Let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So I also kind of redlined mine, as you can see, by my neon greens. Originally, I wanted to do the woman as Lady Iboshi because I really love Lady Iboshi. She's the gun woman. She's the gun woman that runs the town of of Iron Ladies. Uh, But then it made more sense for it to be San because at the end, San is holding the head of the, the forest spirit mm-hmm. uh, with Ashitaka. So I just made it San. I took out Ashitaka entirely. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I was going to draw Billy Bob Thornton in the background, and you see that I sketch him in, but I took him <laughs> out. <laughs> all, the, all the character names and then Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> it's Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, I don't know what his character name he, is. Billy Bob Thornton uh, voices that guy in the dub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I even write down Billy Bob Thornton. You knew that this is going to be our reaction. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name, so I was like, I'm going to look it up. Um, so the way that I approached it for the background, because arguably I would say that I'm probably the most comfortable with digital painting, just because I've had to do it the most. Um, so I, I used a whole bunch of different sorts of oil brushes. You see that I have all my oil brushes on the left. Um, and I wow. use a lot of like different kinds of oil blenders that have like some texture in them. So There's so much happening already. There is a lot happening because they used a lot of cools and warm tones for the background. And I wanted to make sure I got those right. Uh, this is me just blocking in my, my colors uh, me trying to figure out a good brush for the hair. I had one brush specific in mind for hair. That's really, it's a really easy, good cheat for doing hair. And then I just realized that I didn't, it didn't, it didn't matter. Because in the <laughs> original painting, it's just very soft and pretty blended. Like the edges of the hair are pretty blended with the skin. Oh. Uh-huh. So I go in and I, I do that. I really wanted to get the, the feeling of the painting, the original painting, with how soft all of the... Like, it's a very wet oil painting. <laughs> so I wanted to blend everything as best I could. Um, so I wind up painting a lot of things on the same layer just so that I can have that bleed. 
Yeah, make it look natural. Yeah, make it look natural like it, it is, you know, one canvas. I mean, for oils, it's like it could be wet oil so it would blend or if they took a couple of weeks off it could be dry and then it would be hard again like it wouldn't blend as well which you can see a few times <laughs> you can see a few times in like a few places in this painting so i tried to keep that consistent um you can see that like the face is done afterwards but then you know the details of the face like the eyelashes and the eyebrow and the, the nostril is done afterwards because it's very hard but I did that first just as like a mental mark as to where it is. Um, but I try to work with uh, strictly the oil brushes for this painting. Yeah. Yeah, really emulate the, yeah. the feel. I, this is so painted. Yeah, I really wanted to get that, that painterly feel. I was also like having having a week so this was my <laughs> this was my zone out time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um This is so cool to watch. Yeah. Thanks. It's um I try to keep in mind how the oils would have worked for the painting originally and it helped my process as I went. Um like how things would have been blended and how you kind of put in you know, the big kind of blocked colors. So like everything's very soft and then you go in with more and more details. So I tried to do that with this and basically just try to treat it like I really was working with oils for a good number of it. Obviously I use some of the shortcuts so that I'm not spending weeks yeah. on this thing. <laughs> I think I spent like two and a half hours on this whole thing ah. in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I cut out the other background characters. Uh, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. Couldn't oh, even Billy be Bob bothered. Thornton was just for us. Just didn't make the cut. I just I had gotten to the background characters, and I was like, I don't. I, don't I feel, feel like it. I feel like whenever I do digital painting, it is very easy to just zone out, and it goes very quickly. Yeah, and I love that. Yeah, you are like you're kind of skipping. Because, like, inking takes a long time. Yeah. It took forever. Maybe that's why mine took eight <laughs> hours. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely yeah. drew the most characters. By a large margin. Yeah. I didn't even have to draw a face. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. drew a fruit. Um, it makes sense. I chose violence against myself. <laughs> Y'all chose self-care and fun. <laughs> oh, this is looking so cool. With the I tried background. to do so good the end when they've cut the spirit god's head off, and you know it's in that Billy Bob Thornton's carrying it up in that in the in the lidded <laughs> pot, and then they open it and then they take out the head, and there's all that purple goo that's coming down the mountain and killing everything. Oh. Yeah. So I tried to get that goo because it gets really close to her at the end, and I really liked that tension uh, where they kind of put the the forest spirit first uh, and then their safety and health second. Um, also the, the forest spirits head is like covered in this green goo. So I tried to remember to tint everything kind of greenish. Oh, oh so cool. cool. Cool drips. <laughs> drips. Drip. I completely <laughs> forgot about these shoes until I had, I had zoomed out and was like, uh Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just like Michelangelo. Just like Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> the feet are so soft in the painting. They're just like such round shapes. Uh, so I tried to keep that feeling as well. Um, <laughs> this was me thinking about it. And I was like, no, yeah, never mind. You, you did one and then said, nah. <laughs> I just, I was getting tired at this point. I was just Valid. like, I'm just going to go. My favorite anime character, Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's it. That's that's my whole painting. God, so, so cool. Cool. Oh, cool. I should say I used oil brushes for all of it except for the background, which I used. Uh, there's a Kyle uh, Syrah brush, which is just a bunch of uh, stipples. And if you go really light on it, the really light, small stippling. And then if you go hard, it's these big... Uh, hard dots and the original painting has this kind of stippling in it so 
I do love the variety of texture. And yeah, I yeah. like it. Looks so good. And we did all these vertical compositions, so it's going to look real nice all slid next to each other. That's oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you've got you're, there's there's got to be a nice vertical cross section of all oh, those yeah. characters. Yeah. Bad news for for Simone, but he's getting cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah cut sorry. him out. Sorry, but the other side slaps. <laughs> the other side slaps too hard. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this. We had a lot of fun making these. Now I want to go paint. I might do that tonight. <laughs> do yeah, it. Go paint. Everyone watching, go paint. Yeah, try it. I'll Try it, it's on fun. A program I'm comfortable with in bed. Exactly. Yeah. The ideal painting pick, pick circumstances. Pick something simple to start and, and just, just give it a shot. And just play around with it. No rules, just go. Yeah. Yeah. And don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Never surrender. Never surrender. Animal. Believe in the us that believe in you to paint. Yes. Luffy. Luffy. And I've heard that you'll get even better at painting if you support us on Patreon. <laughs> it's one of our perks. One of our perks, yeah. you'll get better at painting. And if you like and subscribe on YouTube, that's an extra plus two bonus to inking. <laughs> yeah. So your all your skills can sort of be rounded out by doing those things. Yeah, just mark mark it off on your on your character sheet. Yeah. yeah. You do that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Let us know what you'd like to see us do next time in the comments. And we're sorry. 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 Sorry.